in this tutorial i will show you how you can set up the spark development environment on windows 10 and use the pycharm ide for development of spark application so first of all you have to download and install jdk i already have i already installed the jdk on my machine and if you don't know how to install you can check our tutorial on downloading and installing jdk on windows so you can see uh, jdk 17 is installed on my machine the next step is to download the spark distribution uh, in the google search download apache spark and you will see this page for downloading the apache spark i will be downloading apache spark 3.5.1 bin adobe 3 tgz so this is the latest version of uh, apache spark so we will be downloading this and using for the development Uh, let's wait for the download to complete i already downloaded it uh, in my computer i will be copying this into a folder called c colon slash softwares Now extract it. So this is our home directory for the Spark. So this is the home directory of Spark. Next step is to download the winutils.exe. So this is the URL to download the winutils. Go to Hadoop win directory and find winutils.exe. Click here and then download. So this is downloaded and uh, I will be creating a folder called Hadoop in C drive and inside this I will create a folder called bin and you put the bin utils here. Our Hadoop home is this. Uh, we will be setting up the environment variables so I'll go here and uh, search for environment variables environment variables and I will create I will create a new variable called Hadoop home and the value is C colon slash Hadoop Okay, and uh, uh, under path, I will add percentage Hadoop slash bin. Okay, so this is done. Next is to uh, create the Spark Home. We already extracted this, so uh, I will go to the system. I 
will go to edit environment variables and now uh, I will create a spark home spark home and this is the directory in my computer okay now I will add the So I will add the spark home slash bin directory into the path. Okay. So Java home is already set. So it is not configured in my system so uh, we need to configure the java home as well in my computer it is java home is here so i will go to the i will click on new java home and the path is this The path I will add new percentage less pin directly. So Java Home is all also set. So we added uh, Spark Home, Hadoop Home slash bin spark home slash python so we need to add the spark home slash python into the path variable as well and Path. I have to add spark home slash python then So need to add python path okay okay then open the environment variables next step is to add uh, this file into the path system path so if you go to the softwares and uh, spark then python and under python there is a live directory called uh, uh, there is a lib directory under lib directory we have this file so we will add this into the path variable environment variables then uh, edit create a new spark home slash uh, spark home slash python lib and py4j zip file so 
so we are almost done and uh, we should be able to run the spark submit from the command line spark submit minus minus version So if you see this uh, output, then it means that uh, Spark is uh, successfully installed and uh, we can move ahead to the next step, next step of installing PyCharm and configuring PyCharm to run the Spark job. To download the PyCharm, Search download PyCharm Community Edition and click on the first link. Uh, there is a pro professional version which is paid one and it comes with uh, many features. But for now, I will be downloading this uh, Community Edition and the exe file. So it is downloading now. So it is downloaded and I will move uh, this into the software's folder and then double click on the installer. Click yes, click next, 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 next. Now the PyCharm community edition is being installed on my computer installation is quite fast on my computer so it is installed completing PyCharm community edition setup I will select run PyCharm community edition and click finish I will select do not import settings, click OK, then new project and click create, it is uh, installing the python 3.1. Installation will complete uh, in about one minute. After this, the next step uh, would be to add the content root under the projects, project structure, and then select uh, Spark directory slash Python slash lib and uh, the py4j. Jip and PySpark.jip. So under uh, Spark installation, there is a Python lab directory and in the lib, uh, there are two files which we have to add. So let's uh, wait for the installation to complete. Now it is creating the environment variable. This environment and it is now loading the project. Next, click on the settings here. Go to settings, then project. After this, project is structure, and we will add content root. So content root is going to be
this directory spark then par, under spark we have python and lib directory so uh, i will paste this here and you can see these two files select these two files and click ok then apply and then click ok python file Now uh, this is the blank python file and uh, we will be uh, writing this code now. Okay. Either paste the code or simply write import. I spark then from I spark sql arc session then now spark is equal to let's copy it over here so uh, what this is doing is uh, creating the spark session and the method is spark session dot builder dot master and app name is this get or create now we should try to run it now we need to click on the allow so uh, you can see that setting default level to warn and to adjust logging level this 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 and warn native native code loader unable to load the loop native library okay so if you get this uh, it means that uh, spark is configured in pycharm so we are able to run the spark pycharm id Thanks for watching the video and subscribe our channel.